This video is going to answer a question someone wanted to know, are those granola bars keto friendly? Decided just to do a whole video just on this one topic because, you know, when you look on the label, it says it's 100% natural. They have these beautiful image that you're in a farm. It's natural. It's oats and honey. I mean, come on, that's, that sounds healthy. There's nuts, almonds, there's walnuts, there's peanuts, and there's no artificial flavoring or colorings. Okay, so that sounds pretty darn healthy to me. Um, but if you actually read the label, you'll notice that there's whole oats. Whole oats are obviously a little bit better than refined oats, but they're still a carbohydrate. And the second ingredient is sugar. Now, anytime you read the back of the label and you read the ingredients, the ingredients at the, the first and second and third pretty much make up the majority of that product. So we have a good amount of oats and we have a good amount of sugar. Then we have canola oil. This is omega-6 and it's GMO. And omega-6 fatty acids can be inflammatory. They're pro-inflammatory, which can worsen insulin resistance and create problems. Yellow corn flour is the next ingredient. It's very high in the glycemic index. It's going to turn into sugar pretty quickly. And then you have soy flour. It's probably going to be GMO because unless it's organic, it's going to be GMO. And then they add more sugar as brown sugar syrup. We got baking soda and natural flavoring. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So six out of the eight ingredients are going to affect your blood sugars. So the sugars total about 29 grams per serving with added sugar of 12 grams. That's three teaspoons of added sugar in, in two bars. So that would be one serving size because I think they come in two bars per package. Now, at the very bottom, it says carbohydrate choice two. I had to look up what that meant. And uh, this is a rating scale. And I think it was developed by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Now, if you're choice one, that, that's like 15 grams of sugar. And I think it goes up to five, maybe, maybe it goes higher, but this relates to kind of a point system with carbohydrates. Now, when I started to look into this, this is what they recommend. For men, you can have between four and five, which comes out to 60 to 75 grams of carbs per meal, okay? So that's a lot of carbohydrates. But if you're a female, it's three to four. So that's 45 grams to 60 grams of carbs per meal. Now, also on the same document, they're talking about a diabetic. And so if you're a diabetic, they're still allowing these as long as you take your medication to control your blood sugars. And so their suggestion is to maintain that carb level so it doesn't throw off your medication because if you're taking less carb, you're gonna need less medication isn't the goal to have less blood sugars? So why would you want to add more carb so you have to take more medication to regulate this excessive amount of carb? So anyway, these somewhat natural uh, granola bars might appear to be very, very natural, and maybe they are, but there sure is a lot of carbohydrate, and uh, it's not keto-friendly. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.